In this video, we'll look at how to export the database content of our application to CSV. For example, I have a list of computers and I want to export them out to Excel or CSV. We can um, shut the computer and then export that to CSV. For example, if I want to list out all the computers and then export them out to CSV, I can just leave the forms blank and click export to CSV and click shut. Just by doing that, we'll have the content of the database exported to CSV. And, and we can look at the file and by clicking that and then clicking OK. All right, so this is um, uh, what we have. Computer name, and that will list out all the computers, the IP address, MAC address, operating systems, users, location, all details that we want to display or we want to export into Excel. And then let's say I want to look at all computers that have um, PC in their name, for example. I'm gonna leave the export for now and click search. That's the only content I want to export. I will click on now export and then as simple as that. All the codes will be on the blog side. So on Django 25 exporting database content to CSV, copy step number one and pasted in models.py I'm gonna put it at the last row so this is the export button or the export to CSV checkbox so you can add it here this is not the best way of doing it because we are modifying the database itself but you can also go to forms.py and create a form and add that export to CSV checkbox in the forms and not in the model but to make it easy for you to follow i'm gonna create it right here and in forms to py i'm just gonna call that um checkbox that field export to csv save it so now um before proceeding i'm gonna go to um make migrate and then migrate the next step is to go to views to py copy this line and paste it in views to py save it and the last step is to take this code copy and paste it in the computer list view just below the if statement we're gonna um, create a variable called, called response and then the response will have a type of CSV and then um, we're gonna give it a file name of uh, computer list dot csv that will be the name of the file after clicking the export button so now the first line of the csv will have computer name ip address mac address and so on then um, we'll have an instance equals to query set this query set is whatever you have after clicking um, uh, the search button so the content of that query set will um, determine how many lines we can have in the uh, csv file so for each of the rows we'll have for row in instance, we'll have writer dot write row, the computer name, the IP address, and so on. So this will form the content of the CSV, and then at the end of the line, we'll have the file downloaded. So I'm gonna save everything and then head to the application. All right. So to test it, I'm gonna click um uh export to csv and click search so just by doing that we have our csv file right here we are not seeing the um the names of the operating system so here we will have to add dot all bracket open bracket close and then do it again All right, so in this other CSV file, we can see we have the list of operating system appearing in the CSV file. This is how you do export to CSV in um, Django. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give us a like button. If you have any comments, put them in the comments below. Otherwise, see you in the next video.